Ahoy Captains, it's Baz again with another video from World of Warships Legends. And today our video is a let's play in the Bismarck. This is the German Tier 7 battleship. And our match today is on Fault Line in a game of domination. I have not played on this map in forever, thank god though, because I hate this map. It is garbage, the spawns are ridiculous, and every match ends up being the same. At least in this match it's domination mode and not capture the base. Capture the base is completely unplayable in this map. The match always ends up with somebody capturing the enemy base. And every time someone ends up in your base, you gotta stop what you're doing, turn around, and sail all the way back. It's stupid. Now we spawned uh, below the Alpha objective here on the uh, western flank, and so that's uh, the objective we're gonna play. Now this match is actually from quite a ways back. It's actually from 2021 in the month of May. Holy smokes, that feels like forever ago. So you'll notice a bunch of things are different. Lots of the uh, in-game UI is going to be different. You don't have that legendary skill notification smack dab in the middle of your screen like they do now. I don't know why they changed that. And there's only the, those four shot feedback uh, boxes instead of the five now. They don't, don't even explain them in the game. I can't even remember what they are, to be honest with you. I don't I really pay attention to them other than the uh, the penetrations and the overpans. I mostly just point and shoot at the bad guys. Now you can see some of our uh, early rookie play here. And I've been playing the game less than a year at this point, basically. So we're not anticipating the, getting our back turrets on this King George. We have our turrets facing to the... Uh, starboard side of the ship forgot to which side is which for a second there uh instead of the port side and so now here we go okay now we smartened up a bit uh, i don't know what this king george is doing he's basically on a suicide run i don't know if our secondary range is uh, built out uh, as you typically think there i'm not really quite sure what my build is uh going way all the way back you then I don't know if I knew about secondary builds. Who knows, maybe this is one of my very first Bismarck matches. But yeah, I don't play the Bismarck much uh, anymore. There's not really any reason to, uh, for me anyways. I'm not really one of those guys that just picks a ship and plays. I'm always uh, picking a ship that uh, has to do with like a mission or something. Or I'm grinding to unlock a, a new ship. So I'm always playing something different. It just so happens that uh, this is the only recording I have uh, of a good Bismarck match. It's probably uh, the best Bismarck match, uh, or at least the most interesting Bismarck match I've had. And just looking through all my old captures, I came across this match, and I thought, hey, it's a little bit interesting, let's uh, show it. Plus, it's uh, from so long ago, we can poke fun at ourselves and uh, laugh at uh, how we used to play back then. It's actually a great uh, learning opportunity to point out uh, some rookie mistakes. But at the same time, we can also point out uh, some good play here. Uh, we had been using that island to our right there to defend ourselves against the Roma uh, while we were taking care of the King George. And that's exactly what you want to do as a battleship. You want to limit the amount of uh, enemies that are shooting at you at uh, one time. And you and your teammates want to solely focus on taking out one enemy at a time. So in a sense here, this was actually uh, some pretty damn good play. We pushed up right towards that island in front of the cap. Took out the King George and once it was taken out, we started to flex on this Roma here. It's amazing how long the Roma has been in the game, man. It's a ship I used to play quite a bit, uh, being that uh, it was one of my early campaign ships. But the way things are going here, we're just going to be slugging it out against this Roma. Trading shots uh, against each other's bows. That's going to be a waste of our time. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep on pushing. Another great play. I just can't really explain it. It did help that uh, the third enemy ship on this flank uh, abandoned his two teammates. So uh, maybe that uh, had something to do with it. But yeah, we've uh, taken advantage though. We've gotten the cap. And uh, we're going to use that island in front of us to uh, now push against this Roma. And we're going to try and uh, catch him broadside. You know, we almost could have taken a shot at uh, one of those ships in the distance. But we don't want to get too greedy there. We want to save our shots for this Roma. Just 
just to hold our shots till we get around this island here. It's just a little bit too high. And look at us stay angled here. We're angling away from the Roma so we don't give them too much broadside. My goodness. Now we're about to lose them, so we take a shot. Might as well. We get a little bit of damage. Now it looks like he's pushing forward. He's on to us. But all that means is uh, we can hit the brakes a little bit and wait for him to pop out of the other side of the island. Perfect timing, too, because our guns have just reloaded. There's his bow. And he's flat broadside to us. Well, let's double citadel him. Take him out for our first kill of the match. Boy, you just really don't want to be caught broadside in these Italian battleships. Their side armor and citadel profile is uh, only one notch above the Russian battleships. What that means is that when you catch them broadside, they are easy to delete. So now that we've completely overrun the left flank of the enemy team, it's time to uh, take some pot shots at these guys through crossfire. The only problem with the Bismarck is that it has terrible dispersion at range, so we do need to close the gap. Still gonna take a few shots, of course, along the way. Cross our fingers and pray to R and Jesus and see what we get. But in the meantime, I think this is a good moment to get our commander up on the screen. Now, funny enough, I do have a screen capture of our commander, Otto Celiax, about three months after this match. So I imagine old Otto and uh, the inspirations were about the same level or thereabouts at the time of this match. Otherwise, I'd probably just be guessing. But yeah, even looking at this screen, things have changed a lot since then. All the German commanders uh, and their skills have been reworked. But as you saw there, this was a pretty generic uh, brawler build. More so a survivability build, actually. You might actually say there's not much of a difference between a brawling build and a survivability build. But I'd argue that uh, they're quite different. No brawling build would focus on the short range offense, while survivability would focus on uh, health and damage prevention. But with whatever build you do choose to go with, I'd say the Bismarck can handle both of them. Now here we are plotting along, we've uh, gotten a little bit of damage on our way over to uh, the rest of the enemy ships. And there was a nice shot over top of the island to finish off the Algerie, and that's our second kill of the match. Getting close to uh, the old uh, 100k uh, damage mark, not too bad. And we're literally shooting at some of these ships from behind, like that's how badly we've uh, outflanked them. But uh, as you can see, some of that dispersion, yuck really bad like epic bad like real life Italian Navy bad but what can you do you just keep shooting now things are actually getting a little bit hairy in the match here the rest of our uh, team has actually folded a little bit and so we do need to be a little bit wary of uh, what we're doing here we don't just want to charge in and uh, get ourselves killed We've been resetting the uh, King George, who was uh, trying to cap the Bravo cat. So that was helping our team out. We were able to scare him out of the cap, actually. And now we just uh, are going to duke it out with the Suzuya, who has us uh, right to where he wants us, actually. He's in a kiting position, and we're in a trailing position. This is perfect for him. We really just got to hope for a lucky shot. It's kind of hard to recommend a general strategy in this situation when you're a battleship uh, going up against a kiting cruiser. I think it highly depends on the distance between the two ships and also the match situation too. You know, if it's a close match, you're probably better suited to peel off and uh, go after a cap or something, hide behind an island and wait for him to come to you. But if you have the advantage, I would say just chase him down, hunt him to the end of the earth. Surprisingly, we were able to dodge his torpedoes without the use of our sonar. That's uh, not something I would uh, risk, especially since, I mean, so low in health uh, and the match is uh, so close. Eventually, we do flip the sonar on, though. And once uh, the King George is eliminated, I think that Suzuya just decided to give up. 
And now he's turning around to, to charge at us. Meanwhile, our secondaries are shooting all over the shop. We've uh, flipped on our uh, enhanced uh, secondary targeting uh, consumable. And uh, that's uh, not doing a whole lot, but uh, it's doing something. It's doing something. It's a nice fireworks show, though, isn't it? Huh? Plus, we're also on fire, so it's uh, quite the spectacular visual display. But now that he's charging right at us, it's just a matter of time before our uh, guns overmatch him. You know, the closer he gets, the better it is for our shotgun blast. And there you go, he goes down. That's our third kill of the match. And it's game over. So there you go. Our, uh, probably one of our best Bismarck matches uh, that we've ever had. We ended up uh, with uh, over 139,000 in damage, the three sinkings. Uh, Dreadnought and Fireproof medals, as well as the High Caliber medal. Pretty nice, I'll take it. Did all kinds of stuff in that match. We also finished at the top of the leaderboard with over uh, 2600 in XP. Pretty decent. Well, hope you guys did uh, enjoy that uh, look back at the Bismarck in this old match of mine. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button for me. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see my other videos. Feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, take care of yourselves and do what makes you happy.